Imagine a sponge so powerful it can trap pollution. Imagine a sponge so powerful it can store clean fuel. Imagine a sponge so powerful it can make your water safer, without taking up much space. That's the magic of Metal Organic Frameworks, or MOFs. Here's the payoff up front. MOFs can help solve air pollution, clean water, cheaper energy storage, and even better food freshness. They're like microscopic hotels for molecules, tons of rooms, doors, and hallways. So you can choose who gets in, who gets stuck, and who gets sent packing. What are they really? Think metal atoms as the corner posts and organic linkers as the beams. Snap them together, and you get a crystal with insane porosity. A sugar cube-sized chunk can have the surface area of a football field, no joke. Why should you care? Carbon capture, MOFs can pull CO2 from smokestacks, or even the air, and hold it like a bouncer at the door. Clean water, certain MOFs target heavy metals and forever chemicals, making filters that are selective and regenerable. Hydrogen and methane storage, MOFS, pack gas molecules tightly at safer pressures. Odor and toxin control, from ammonia to sulfur smells, MOFS can scrub the stink in fridges, diapers, and factories. Smart packaging and sensors, MOFS change color or conductivity when they meet certain gases. Faster chemistry, they're great catalysts, turning slow reactions into efficient ones for making meds or recycling plastics. Okay, but are they just lab toys? Not anymore. Early MOFs fell apart with moisture, but new families like zirconium-based ones are tough, washable, and reusable. Companies are pelletizing them, coating them onto fibers and foams and even 3D printing shapes that drop straight into filters. Costs are falling as synthesis scales up with spray drying and continuous reactors. What's the catch? 1. Stability. Not every MOF survives heat, acid, or months of humidity. 1. Energy to regenerate. Capturing CO2 is easy, releasing it costs energy. 1. Fouling. Real-world air and water are messy, dust and gunk can block pores. Where will you see MOFs first? Air purifiers that target wildfire smoke and VOCs, compact CO2 scrubbers in buildings, refillable refrigerator deodorizers that actually work, fuel tanks that store more at lower pressure, and wearable sensors that sniff out hazards you can't see. If you're a student or maker, you can prototype with safer water-stable MOFs and off-the-shelf kits. If you run a facility, pilot a MOF bed for CO2 or solvent recovery, you might earn back energy and capture value. And, if you're just curious, follow the labels. MOF enabled is about to be a thing. Bottom line, MOFs give us precision control over molecules in the real world. Cleaner air, safer water, better energy, packed into materials as light as a sponge. The future smells a lot better already.